A long and unusual internal affairs report was released this year about former San Diego police officer Cesar Alcantara. It found that Alcantara staged his suicide with fake blood and shot a gun off in his home. Plus, he messaged sex workers four times while on duty, including at a homicide scene. I looked at the pictures and um, the allegations, and it, it was disturbing. It is disturbing. That's Charmaine Mosley, the director of the city's Commission on Police Practices. She reviewed the case records for iNewsource. But what's not in those records is just as telling. Alcantara resigned before the investigation was over, so he was never disciplined. The district attorney's office declined to prosecute him. And Alcantara has not been decertified, meaning he's still eligible to be a police officer in California. Taken together, all of this highlights the shortcomings of the systems designed to protect the public from problematic and potentially dangerous law enforcement officers. If they engage in that behavior and <laughs> the department in which they were working in, and then they could take that same behavior into a, a different department in a different community. And I believe that people will not want that. The internal affairs records include photos, videos, and detailed descriptions of Alcantara's actions, which began just after Mother's Day in 2020. The records show Alcantara's girlfriend was at the beach alone that day because the two had been fighting. Then he sent her a video of himself holding his loaded off-duty firearm, along with several graphic images of self-harm, and he demanded she return to the house. His girlfriend later explained to police that when she came home, Alcantara was lying on the ground. Like laying there, acting as if he had shot himself. So he was on the ground, and I think, I can't, I can't remember if he had his belt, but there was like, he had put ketchup all over the floor, like around him, to like mimic like blood. When she realized he was unharmed, she ran upstairs. Then she heard a gunshot. So I go running back downstairs, and he's laying in the living room floor, on the living room floor, um, and there's a, like you think there's a hole in the floor. The incident was not reported to police at the time, but the next year, a rumor circulated at the station about a gun going off at Alcantara's house. He denied everything. Okay, so Officer Alcantara, uh, the San Diego Police Department personnel uh, has provided information regarding a possible domestic violence incident. Do you have any idea why these allegations would be brought to the department's attention? No, sir. Alcantara's girlfriend eventually came forward to police. She was actually an officer with the department, too. Investigators searched their home and found physical evidence, bullet fragments, a hole in the floorboards, and even a bottle of stage blood. Plus, screenshots showed Alcantara was messaging sex workers while on duty. The police records list several criminal offenses, including shooting a gun in an inhabited dwelling. That can carry a seven-year prison sentence. But Alcantara was not prosecuted. Mosley said she found the DA's decision interesting. You're thinking about an officer engaging in misconduct, and then you try, you know, if you compare it to um, an average community member, right? You take those two and you compare it, right? Would the DA have thought the same thing? The DA's office said it treats all cases the same, regardless of who the alleged offender is. They said they could not prove criminal charges beyond a reasonable doubt. Alcantara did not respond to requests for comment. Alcantara's girlfriend, who left the force late last year, declined to comment. For KPBS, I'm my new source investigative reporter, Jill Castellano.